Good afternoon. This is January 18th. It's Wednesday, 2023. So welcome to the broadcast video. My name is, I go by Emerald Dio. My real name is Jennifer Clancy. Nice to meet you. The Lord gave me Emerald Dio. And, um, there's other videos that explain the breakdown of that, that fun name the Lord gave me. So the Lord put on my heart today, Romans 1. So I'm going to dive into that soon before we start our prayer for military and the law enforcement. But I'm just going to focus on you first. So in Jesus' mighty name, I just bless every person who is watching or we'll watch this video. I pray in your mighty name, Jesus, that they would have peace today. I pray that they would know that you are with them wherever they go. I pray the peace of the Lord and camp around them like a wall of fire. that when demands come upon them that you do not call them to, that they can gently and lovingly say no, to even if it's a loved one, and, and bless them and pray for their peace and their strength to get those things done and the discernment to know when to say yes and when to say no so that they can walk out the fullness of the calling that you have given them. Jesus Christ is God. And he loves you so much. He loves you so much. And he is with you. He cares about what you care about. From the mundane, from getting your hair done, to paying your light bill, to having a roof over your head, to the college education that you're looking for. He cares about you and he has good plans for you. So I pray that that truth would just cover you today in whatever you do. In Jesus' name I pray. And Lord, in Jesus' my name, we ask you to dive into this word and say these prayers over our law enforcement and our military today. Lord, we pray, Lord, no retaliation. Lord, we command a million angels in Jesus' mighty name, holy angels and hosts to go forth and protect every person under the sound of my voice. We bind up every demonic stronghold from afflicting them today through their workplaces, their loved ones, their communications, their technology, deaf, dumb, blind, mute, and paralyzed. We break every word curse, hex, facts, incantations, foul, spoken over them or over me and my family, my loved ones. And we send those demons attached to curses back to the pit of hell in Jesus' mighty name. We reverse the curse. We pray blessings. We declare over anyone who has cursed us or spoken ill will or had ill intent. We pray, Lord, to mass experience upon them. We declare over them that they shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord and land of the living. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray the peace of the Lord. Draw them in your goodness to repentance wherever it's needed, we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yay! So Romans 1. It's one of my favorite... Um, verses the Lord has been bringing me to. And I'm reading out of the Amplified Joyce Myers Bible. She's awesome. So Romans 1, verse 1. Paul. Now Paul was Saul. And he had a Damascus experience. He actually persecuted Christians, mocked them, did ill will to them. And I consider myself at a point I became, I was a Saul. I was in the insurance industry and we would say things when we were selling supplemental insurances. 
I, I didn't even know then I was actually speaking like curses about asking about diseases and things in their households and what if and what that, I, I didn't even know what I was doing was necessarily wrong because the word of God says in the Bible, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So I was really speaking bad things and I repent, I've repented. And I'm, I'm now Jennifer, you know, Emerald Dio, you know, who, who was almost in some ways a, a Saul that turned Paul. So I very much relate with, with Paul in many ways. And, um, it's so beautiful. That's the grace of Jesus is no matter where you have been in your life, no matter what have you said against the word or against the body, that God's hand is not too short. He is mighty. He is good. And he forgives and he loves. He loves you. He loves you so much. There is no sin that God cannot forgive. Jesus, he truly did come and die for you. And he loves you. He wants you to repent. Just say, Jesus, forgive me. I knew not what I did. I confess you as Lord and Savior, and I receive you in my heart today. And Paul, his blind eyes, he, he could see. And the verse here says, Paul, a bond servant of Christ Jesus. So he's been born again. Lord Jesus Christ paid the price for him on the cross, and he was literally transformed. And he has become dedicated by the bond of his love for Jesus a servant for the Lord to do God's will that he would call him to do. So if you're the will of God is for you to be in law enforcement, you are the servant of the Lord in law enforcement. That is your calling. It's a high calling. It's a prestigious calling. It's an honor what you do for us every day. If you're a teacher, you know, you're a servant to the Lord as you dedicate your day and teaching to the Lord, as you follow the math or the science or the art lessons that you teach. Paul, a bondservant of Jesus Christ, called as an apostle, parentheses, special messenger, personally chosen representative. So, Lord Jesus, we ask you, Lord. Help us to know how to represent you well. To be that apostle. To represent Jesus as much as we can where we are. If you just learn about the grace and the goodness of God in the Bible. And you're learning to understand the goodness of God. How he truly loves you. You know, that's a first step in learning about what it is to be a special messenger, personal chosen representative. That's what they just define as an apostle. There is um, a calling to each one of us to be his voice, to, to love the Lord, to speak his words that he would speak through you, to love those around you, to see Jesus is good. And he truly is God. Set apart for preaching the gospel of God, the good news of salvation. And in this dark world where there is so much bad news, everywhere you look, and some of it may be true, some bad things may have happened in this day. But the hope we have is that there truly is a heaven where there is no more tears. And there is no more pain and there is more, no more suffering. So why wouldn't you share that? I pray you share it with someone today. Amen. So that was Romans 1, um, verse 1 from the Amplified Bible. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and get started with some prayer today. So Lord Jesus, we just lift up, Lord the United States military. We declare this prayer is an honor to pray. We will not grow weary in well-doing and praying for our men and women of arms as they stand the guard and they do the unspeakable and they miss their families and their loved ones. 
I miss my husband. I do. And I honor him. And I honor all of you today, wherever you are in the world today. I honor you. I bless you in Jesus' name. Pray a special blessing of goodness upon you this day of gifts and joy and fun and visions. So, Lord, we, we pray a big prayer, Lord. We pray a big prayer this day. We command a billion angels. We're going to loop it. Lord, we command a, a billion angels and a billion hosts to go forth over the United States military, over every military base, and the civilian and military contractors, even foreign military, and camping around about them in which they are stationed right now throughout the world, over their ships, over their helicopters, over their planes, over the submarines, Lord. We cover our United States military. We cover the Pentagon. We cover the United States Congress. We cover the United States Senate. We cover the Supreme Court justices and the rulings and the assignments that they may be doing today, Lord Abba. We cover the law enforcement of the United States of America and the territory territories and the properties there, territories, um, Guam, Puerto Rico. We cover the sheriff's officers, the police officers there, the border patrol agents, the north, the south, the east, the west. We cover our ICE agents. We cover our FBI, our Secret Service. We cover the governorships and mayorships throughout the United States of America and, and their family members as well. We cover them in your precious blood in Jesus' my name. We command a billion angels and a billion hosts to go forth over them now and bash, mash, and trash the enemy from afflicting them. Tear down every plot, scheme, attack, against them this day we pray be bought brought down to naught we pray the mercy and grace upon anyone who has done great evil today lord who has received payoffs and money to do evil or in agreement with such we pray your mercy today lord we pray they turn themselves in and they repent we pray justice, Lord. We declare over them that they shall live and they shall not die before their appointed time. And they shall declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. We declare and we pray, Lord, the goodness of God upon them. We pray the armor of God upon them, Lord. We pray the helmet of salvation that they would know you and believe in you, Lord. We pray the breastplate of righteousness that they would read their word and just walk in your peace and believe by faith the righteousness of God. We pray the wraparound shield of faith. Oh, Lord, the shield would be the word that they read and they believe, and it would be so embedded within their heart that when a lie comes at them, it bounces right off at the start. We wield the sword of the Spirit over them. And we pray in the Holy Spirit. We declare Psalm 91 over them, that he who dwells under the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, he is our refuge and our fortress, our God in whom we trust. Surely he shall deliver them from the snare, the fowler, and the perilous pestilence. We pray and declare over them now that they shall live, and they shall not die before their appointed time. And they shall declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And we ask, Lord, and we declare, and we pray for them to come home safely with every body part intact. And we speak into those men and women who have lost limbs, that they've lost their hand or their hearing, or they've lost their leg, Lord. And Lord, you are not so small that you can't do a miracle. So we ask for a miracle. We speak over their limbs. And we say, you've done it before, Lord, do it again. 
do it again. Grow out hands and arms and legs, I believe, for a big, big prayer for our mighty, almighty God. And this is little prayer. See you, Lord. You hear every prayer. And even if you don't, we bless you, Lord. And we thank you for them and their sacrifice of their lives, Lord. We pray the gospel of peace upon them, Lord. We pray the wealth of integrity and truth that they would know your truth, Lord, in the word. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, I bless you today. I bless you and I pray you have a wonderful day in the love and the goodness of God. And um, I'm honored that you took the time to pray with me. God bless you. Bye.